What are the most important technologies of 2021? In this video, you'll find a brief description that probes 2021's newest technologies. I hope you'll enjoy exploring what I believe represents a glimpse into our future during these dark times. According to MIT Technology Review, here's the list of the top 10 technologies of 2021. The two most effective vaccines against the coronavirus are based on messenger RNA, a technology that has been in the works for 20 years. When the COVID-19 pandemic began last January, scientists at several biotech companies were quick to turn to mRNA as a way to create potential vaccines, in late December 2020, at a time when more than 1.5 million had died from COVID-19 worldwide, the vaccines were approved in the US, marking the beginning of the end of the pandemic. The new COVID vaccines are based on a technology never before used in therapeutics, and it could transform medicine leading to vaccines against various infectious diseases, including malaria. And if this coronavirus keeps mutating, mRNA vaccines can be easily and quickly modified. These are large natural language computer models that learn to write and speak. They are a big step toward AI that can better understand and interact with the world. GPT-3 is by far the largest and most literate to date. Trained on the text of thousands of books and most of the internet, GPT-3 can mimic human written text with uncanny and at times bizarre realism, making it the most impressive language model yet produced using machine learning. But GPT-3 doesn't understand what it's writing, so sometimes the results are garbled and nonsensical. It takes an enormous amount of computation power, data, and money to train, creating a large carbon footprint and restricting the development of similar models to those labs with extraordinary resources. And since it is trained on text from the internet, which is filled with misinformation and prejudice, it often produces similarly biased passages. Since its launch in China in 2016, TikTok has become one of the world's fastest-growing social networks. It's been downloaded billions of times and attracted hundreds of millions of users. Why? Because the algorithms that power TikTok's for you feed have changed the way people become famous online. While other platforms are geared more toward highlighting content with mass appeal, TikTok's algorithms seem just as likely to pluck a new creator out of obscurity as they are to feature a known star. And they're particularly adept at feeding relevant content to niche communities of users who share a particular interest or identity. 
The ability of new creators to get a lot of views very quickly, and the ease with which users can discover so many kinds of content, have contributed to the app's stunning growth. Other social media companies are now scrambling to reproduce these features on their own apps. Do you need help in growing your business during these pandemic and lockdown times? I'm here to help. Call me or email me at michael at coachacademy.com to discuss. Electric vehicles come with a tough sales pitch, they're relatively expensive, and you can drive them only a few hundred miles before they need to recharge, which takes far longer than stopping for gas. All these drawbacks have to do with the limitations of lithium-ion batteries. A well-funded Silicon Valley startup now says it has a battery that will make electric vehicles far more palatable for the mass consumer. It's called a lithium metal battery and is being developed by QuantumScape. According to early test results, the battery could boost the range of the electric vehicles by 80% and can be rapidly recharged. The startup has a deal with VW, which says it will be selling EVs with the new type of battery by 2025. The battery is still just a prototype that's much smaller than the one needed for a car. But if QuantumScape and others working on lithium metal batteries succeed, it could finally make EVs attractive to millions of consumers. Technology companies have proven to be poor stewards of our personal data. Our information has been leaked, hacked, and sold and resold more times than most of us can count. Maybe the problem isn't with us, but with the model of privacy to which we've long adhered, one in which we, as individuals, are primarily responsible for managing and protecting our own privacy. Data trusts offer one alternative approach that some governments are starting to explore. A data trust is a legal entity that collects and manages people's personal data on their behalf. Though the structure and function of these trusts are still being defined, and many questions remain, data trusts are notable for offering a potential solution to long-standing problems in privacy and security. Falling solar costs have renewed clean hydrogen hopes. As nations do the hard math on how to meet their climate goals, green hydrogen increasingly appears essential. Hydrogen has always been an intriguing possible replacement for fossil fuels. It burns cleanly, emitting no carbon dioxide, it's energy dense, so it's a good way to store power from on and off renewable sources, and you can make liquid synthetic fuels that are drop-in replacements for gasoline or diesel. But most hydrogen up to now has been made from natural gas, the process is dirty and energy intensive. The rapidly dropping cost of solar and wind power means green hydrogen is now cheap enough to be practical. Simply zap water with electricity, and presto, you've got hydrogen. Europe is leading the way, beginning to build the needed infrastructure. Want to change your life? Looking for a career move? Talk to a certified life coach before you embark on this journey. It could be tricky to do it by yourself. I'm here to help. As the coronavirus began to spread around the world, it felt at first as if digital contact tracing might help us. Smartphone apps could use GPS or Bluetooth to create a log of people who had recently crossed paths. If one of them later tested positive for COVID, that person could enter the result into the app, and it would alert others who might have been exposed. But digital contact tracing largely failed to make much impact on the virus's spread. 
Apple and Google quickly pushed out features like exposure notifications to many smartphones, but public health officials struggled to persuade residents to use them. The lessons we learn from this pandemic could not only help us prepare for the next pandemic but also carry over to other areas of healthcare. We all use GPS every day, it has transformed our lives and many of our businesses. But while today's GPS is accurate to within 5 to 10 meters, new hyper-accurate positioning technologies have accuracies within a few centimeters or millimeters. That's opening up new possibilities, from landslide warnings to delivery robots and self-driving cars that can safely navigate streets. China's Beidou, Big Dipper, global navigation system was completed in June 2020 and is part of what's making all this possible. It provides positioning accuracy of 1.5 to 2 meters to anyone in the world. Using ground-based augmentation, it can get down to millimeter level accuracy. Meanwhile, GPS, which has been around since the early 1990s, is getting an upgrade. Four new satellites for GPS-3 launched in November and more are expected in orbit by 2023. The COVID pandemic forced the world to go remote. Getting that shift right has been especially critical in healthcare and education. Some places around the world have done a particularly good job at getting remote services in these two areas to work well for people. Snapask, an online tutoring company, has more than 3.5 million users in nine Asian countries, and Bijus, a learning app based in India, has seen the number of its users soar to nearly 70 million. Unfortunately, students in many other countries are still floundering with their online classes. Meanwhile, telehealth efforts in Uganda and several other African countries have extended healthcare to millions during the pandemic. In a part of the world with a chronic lack of doctors, remote healthcare has been a lifesaver. Create the life that you love, get your personal life coach now. Call me or email me at michael at coachacademy.com. Get your life back on track with a personal mentor. Despite the immense progress in artificial intelligence in recent years, AI and robots are still dumb in many ways, especially when it comes to solving new problems or navigating unfamiliar environments. They lack the human ability, found even in young children, to learn how the world works and apply that general knowledge to new situations. One promising approach to improving the skills of AI is to expand its senses, currently, AI with computer vision or audio recognition can sense things but cannot talk about what it sees and hears using natural language algorithms. But what if you combine these abilities in a single AI system? Might these systems begin to gain human-like intelligence? Might a robot that can see, feel, hear, and communicate be a more productive human assistant? AIs with multiple senses will gain a greater understanding of the world around them, achieving a much more flexible intelligence. Thank you for watching. Please read the description below for more details. And please, please stay safe.